the Georgia Bulldogs have had some freshmen flashing so far in Athens, Georgia. There's a lot to be excited about from this 2023 cycle, and a lot of these cats obviously are already enrolled, so who's making some noise? You've heard probably a good amount already about Lawson Lucky. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Six foot three, 240 pounds. He is a grown man. Talked to Charles Power about him in the office, who's the best scout in this entire industry, and he told me, yeah, he's ready to start blocking like today, which is saying something. Because you and I both know, whenever you translate from the high school level to the collegiate ranks, what's the one thing that these tight ends typically have to grow in? Hey, I was blocking a kid that was, you know, maybe half my size and he was playing defensive line for the rival high school. Well, now you got to block SEC defensive linemen. So good luck with that. Lost and lucky, it doesn't sound like we'll have a major jump in getting that done, according to Charles Power. Now, in terms of what he's done in a scrimmage setting, in the previous scrimmage, about a week ago, I guess it was, Lawson Lucky had three touchdowns. Y'all, as a freshman, to be that productive and to get in the paint three different times against the back-to-back -back national champs, that shows me something. Like, the word out of Athens is that he just continues to make plays. Now, during spring football, obviously, Brock Bowers is having his reps limited a little bit because spring is for evaluating. Spring is for internal competition. You know what number 19 is bringing to the table every single Saturday. So for Lawson Lucky to flash in the way that he has to this point during spring football, Georgia fans, get fired up, man. And what do we know Georgia to be offensively? What's their philosophy? Bully ball. And then we're going to create matchups for you. Lawson Lucky, another one of these Chess piece tight ends for Mike Bobo's offense. They're going to be in a lot of multiple tight end sets. Darnell Washington gone in the league. So expect to see a fair amount of loss and lucky as well as Oscar Delp on the field. But to have such good returns so far for loss and lucky, I'm telling you, be very excited. I also say this before we move on. He had a breakaway touchdown is what I was told from one of those scrimmages. And as a tight end to have the athletic ability to catch and then run and then quote break away. From the Georgia defense, y'all, that's saying something. You shouldn't just look past that quote when you read about it on the spring intel over there at Dogs HQ, the Georgia on three site, which makes sure you got a membership there because they'll keep you in the know to the minute. Okay, also make sure you're subscribed here and make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Twitter at JD Patel. Georgia fans, get fired up, man. It's about time for y'all to make a run for a three-peat. Lock it in right here on the on three YouTube channel. So we appreciate y'all in advance for that. Now, another guy that I was told is balling during the spring right now. A guy this staff is really excited about, C.J. Allen, the linebacker, six foot one, 225 pounds. The comp that he is receiving from this staff is a lofty one. How about Roquan Smith? Yeah, that Roquan Smith that made play after play and was always around the football at Georgia is now making plays in the league from the same area, kind of middle Georgia. Instead, he's a really high-character guy, is C.J. Allen. Sounds like he's very mature. Sounds like he's adapting to the college game relatively quickly, obviously, as we're having a conversation about him right now during this video. But the thing that we loved about him out of high school was the way that he was explosive at the point of attack, which is just football terminology for saying this dude is really athletic and he uses his quickness and his strength to his advantage when making plays, tackling running backs, and running all over the field. The other thing that Charles Power loves about C.J. Allen said he has great processing ability. Again, just football terminology for saying he doesn't get his eyes in the wrong place too much. Like, if you're a running back carrying the football, my eyes are in the right place to go and make the play on you. I'm not having my eyes going with the fake speed sweep and the pulling guard. Like, my eyes are in the exact right spot. If they're supposed to be on that pulling guard because he's my key, great, then I'm reading that. But the reality is C.J. Allen is a smart football player. Okay, Kirby Smart brings in smart football players to his operation all the time. C.J. Allen is no exception. He's just hitting the ground running and, again, making noise as an early enrollee during Georgia's spring practice. One more early enrollee that's balling for you, another one on the defensive side of the ball, five-star edge Damon Wilson. Now, he had one of the best first steps paired with flexibility in the 2023 cycle. Translation, do gets to the quarterback. A whole heck of a lot. I had like 15 sacks his junior season, so he has the production to go with it. This is important because with Georgia, how freakish they are on the defensive line, you pair Damon Wilson with the Michael Williams, 
We say it all the time on here, but depth in the trenches in the SEC is the price of admission to winning football games. That's why Georgia's been back-to-back national champs. That's why they won the SEC this past season, because they got the dudes on the edge and in the middle of that defensive line that can row the boat for you. Damon Wilson, to this point during spring camp, has proven he is going to be a guy that you're going to have to deal with. At the very least, you're going to have to figure out what kind of role you want to have him in in 2023. I don't know if you let him totally loose yet in 2023, but it sounds like he's flashed multiple times during this spring. And again, to be a freshman for all three of these guys and to be making plays the way that you are during spring practice, it's it's one thing to go and do that against my alma mater, Cornell. I mean, if you show up and you're a freshman making plays, like, okay, good for you, guy. Had a good strength conditioning program. To go do it at Georgia where you're running against NFL guys, essentially. I mean, it's a, it's a professional team that just got dropped in the middle of college football. A lot to be excited about. A lot to be excited about. So Lawson Lucky, the tight end, ball in C.J. Allen, they're very excited about. Damon Wilson is flashing. Those three guys are drawing rave reviews to this point during spring practice in Athens. Now, Nick Brake, Lifting Heavy, this is your show. Georgia fans, like I said, now is the time. Make sure you're subscribed. The water is fun. Jump on in. We're going to keep the party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.